Hello and welcome to Inquiring Minds, a conversation series featuring some of the renowned academics at the University of Auckland. I'm Kerry Woodham and joining me now is Dr Tracy McIntosh from the Department of Sociology and the Faculty of Arts. Kia ora Kerry. Now you had a fascinating journey into academia, didn't you? Because you didn't go to university immediately after school. No, so you know, I, I grew up in South Auckland. Um, I came out of school at the time when it was full employment. University was not really something that was even particularly talked about, uh, you know, at, at my school or any of those sorts of things. I went out, I got a job, and sort of within a, a year, a year and a half of leaving school, I found myself first in France, which I stayed for a number of years, and then in, in Central Africa, where I also stayed a number of years, uh, and then back through the Pacific, and finally found myself at the university really in my late, well, I was 30, I think, when I enrolled at, at the University of Auckland. It's not the traditional Kiwi OE, France, Central Africa, the Pacific and home. No, I guess it was and I decided I, I was working at the airport when I first left school, you know, sort of waitressing uh, and um, watching planes come and take off and had made some sort of plans to go elsewhere, talked to people uh, who worked for UTA at the time, you know, the French airline and they said you should go to France without really any more consideration than that any more sort of information about France. I didn't speak French, I didn't know anyone there. I got on the plane in February and arrived in France having never even seen snow before. Uh, and it was this, this, this huge snowstorm. So I guess it wasn't the, the normal beaten path and actually it took me years to get to England. What did you do when you got to France? Um, th for the first few days I wondered how long, you know, how long I'd have to stay without losing face and going home and I sort of suddenly realised you know, that I didn't speak the language, that it was totally different for me and I didn't know anyone. Uh, but I ended up doing what a lot of people do do and that I uh, ended up teaching um, English. And I mean even that was a huge education for me because like many New Zealanders had not learnt the language grammatically and so I, I was you know, one sort of lesson ahead of my students. and. Uh, and often not even that lesson ahead of my students. So really in many ways it taught me about English, it taught me about the structure of English and at the same time of course I was learning a new language and I was learning French. Um, so so I, I ended up staying in France for I think nearly five years altogether and certainly unexpected after that and have, have stayed very sort of very strong even research links within France now. And then different opportunities came up and I took them and went to, to Burundi and spent time both in Burundi and in Rwanda uh, as, a, as a volunteer for uh, just over two years. 